My name is Amr. I'm the Nuclear Medicine Coordinator and I work mainly in the Nuclear Medicine Department and also the Pet Department. Nuclear medicine is a medical specialty that involves injecting somebody with a small amount of a radioactive material, often called a radiopharmaceutical. We can also give it to you in other ways, for example, by swallowing, by putting a small amount under the tissue underneath the skin, and also we can get you to breathe it in. We then use a special gamma camera that actually takes pictures of where that injection has gone to in the body. This helps the doctors determine disease states in the patient. Nuclear medicine can also be used to treat diseases. When we are treating diseases, we often give a larger amount of radioactivity, but then that is targeted to a certain disease and a certain organ that we are trying to treat. For the nuclear medicine studies, the nuclear medicine technologist will perform your study. The nuclear technologist has obtained a university degree so they are very capable and qualified to inject the radioactive materials, prepare the radiopharmaceuticals, perform the actual imaging, operating the gamma camera, as well as displaying and processing the images that are required. A radiopharmaceutical is a special medication that is used in nuclear medicine. There is a radioactive component which helps create the image that the gamma camera will detect and the pharmaceutical component determines where that injection will go in the body. When you are given the radioactive material, gamma rays are coming from your body, that is the radioactive component. Those gamma rays will hit the crystal within the gamma camera head and that helps to form a image which is then relayed on to a computer. When we give you the injection, you will not look or feel any different. You will not feel the sensation of the radiation at all, and you will not be glowing in the dark. Also, the gamma camera does not make any noise, so the whole procedure when you go through it is quite simple, and there's nothing to be fearful of while we're actually taking the images. So the way nuclear medicine and x-ray differ is that when someone has an x-ray, we're looking at what something looks like. With nuclear medicine, when we give the injection of the radioactive tracer, we're actually following the pathway of injury. So nuclear medicine would look at function rather than just what something looks like. Imaging of pregnant women in nuclear medicine is generally avoided but there are some circumstances after discussion with the referring doctors that sometimes the nuclear medicine test could be performed on a pregnant woman. Most times this is usually when they're trying to diagnose blood clots. Patients who are breastfeeding or are in close contact with young children may need to be given specific instructions if they're having a nuclear medicine test. With the breastfeeding, we often request patients to cease breastfeeding for a certain time period. They are able to express their milk and put it away prior to their examination and then we will let them know when they can recommence breastfeeding. If you are the primary caregiver of small children, we recommend that you talk to your doctor and also to us when you come in about the precautions that you would need to follow. We do recommend that you keep your distance from young children and pregnant women for a certain period of time at a distance of preferably two to three meters just so that we can minimize the dose to the children. So when you come into our department to have a nuclear medicine procedure done, the technologist will walk you into the room. They will get you to take off any metal items that you may be wearing. We will get you to lie down on our table. Once you are in position, and we will position you under the gamma camera, depending on the area of the body that we are scanning, we will then give you the injection of the radioactive tracer. Once we give you this injection, it is important for you to keep still because often the pictures are commenced straight away. Then, depending on what procedure you're having done, we may get you to leave and come back at a later time, either on that day or a different day. So when you're booking for a nuclear medicine procedure, often the receptionist will inform you of how long your study will take, but on the day the technologist will also remind you prior to commencing the study how long you will actually be here for the procedure. 
Now with nuclear medicine there are a lot of images that we do take. Once we have taken the images required for your study, we then need to process the images. They are then sent on to our specialist radiologist who will interpret the images and provide a report which then can be followed up with you and your doctor.